This is section 11.6 on the combined gas law. We've seen that Boyle's law talked about pressure and volume. Charles's law uh, talked about temperature and volume. Guy Lussac's law talked about temperature and pressure. All we're going to do in this section is put those three laws together. Okay, so um, we end up with P, uh, PV equals T. And PV equals T is the formula so that, so that uh, Guy Lussac's law, Charles's law, and Boyle's law all are together. That's all they've done. So you put pressure, temperature, and volume all in the same pot, okay? And so you have, um, so here's the three, here's P1, P2, so that means P and V are inverse. They stay on the same side of the, of the equal sign, but uh, temperature is on the other side, okay? So PV equals T will solve all three, P and V on this side, T on the other side. That means pressure and temperature are, are direct, volume and temperature are direct, pressure and volume are inverse. So one goes up as the other goes down. Direct means they go up together, they go down together, okay? So if PV equals T, and you want two T's, then what you're gonna have to do is bring the first T down and the second T down, and you end up with PV over T, PV equals over T. So let's remember Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law is P1V1 equals P2V2. Do you see that's the top? Boyle's Law is the top, okay? And then Charles's Law was temperature and volume. So it was V1 over T1, V2 over T2. Do you see there? It's there also. And then uh, Guy Lussac's Law was temperature and pressure. So P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. All three of those are together. Now we just put them together. So you end up with P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 V2 over T2. So in a nutshell, you're going you're gonna to solve for one of these, and then the other five will be given to you. And then you fill those in and multiply along the top, divide by the bottom, and you will get it correctly. Okay. So you can see, um, you can see these combined gas laws because the, the problem's big. And it looks terrifying, but it's not a big deal. You simply look and see what you have. I've got liters, which is a volume. I've got atmospheres, which is a pressure. And I've got Celsius, which is a, is a temperature. You do have to put the temperature in Kelvin the same way all temperatures were. So Kelvin temperature is 273 more than Celsius. So whatever your Celsius is, add 273 first. And then once you have these three, you solve for the three. Okay, whatever you're solving for. T2 in this case, put the other five there, fill them in. Multiply top times top times top, divide by bottom equals, divided by other bottom equals, and you end up with an answer. If you have a temperature and you're asked for Celsius, Remember, this temperature is Kelvin. You're going to have to subtract 273 to get it back to Celsius, and this is what this, this problem was. Okay, So what do we have? We've got a, a um, volume, a temperature, and a pressure. Okay, So this is combined gas law. They're asking for the volume, okay, and they're going to give you the other two. They're going to give you a new temperature and a new pressure. Now, always check to make sure they're in the same units. This one's 0.85 atmospheres. This one is 802 millimeters of mercury. They're doing that just because they're nasty people. You're going to have to get them to one or the other. Okay, It doesn't matter as long as they're the same because they're, your answer at the end is going to be in volume. But if you were to try to take 802 and do something with 0.85, it would cause a big mess because they don't cancel. You need them to be in the same units to cancel. So you have to first get it somewhere. Okay? So uh, temperature has to be added, 273, so it has to be in Kelvin. And then you need the pressure to be changed into two millimeters of mercury first, then solve for your answer, fill any, everything in, and you'll end up with your answer. Okay? So it's not that hard because really there isn't anything new. All you're doing is combining formula 
so it's PV equals T, and then if you want to, to do that as a formula, so it's P1 V1 over T1 equals P2 T2, or V2 over T2. All right, and we'll do all these examples in class.